Hey, welcome back, everybody. <laughs> I'm your host, Dr. Bob Lee for BLS. And uh, hey, check it out. Our guests are here from Paris Blues in Harlem. We sat together, did a fantastic uh, film. The film features uh, yours truly. I, I don't want to talk about me because the people that put it together, they're here, and they are the subject. They are the main subject. Joining us with all the details, we have... Uh, Nadej Bata. Charles Weldon. And Michelle Baldwin. See how I did that? Ba -ba -ba -bam! <laughs> <laughs> we welcome you guys to the show. Thank you. And you've been here before. Mm -hmm. Did you come with her? No. She was out no. here talking about what she was doing and what she was getting involved in and her film work and all of this. And then mm -hmm. I said, well, I have my sad car. <laughs> Talked himself into a role. Yeah, I did, I did. <laughs> and, then, you. and I just threw it out there, and then, you know, the next yeah. thing you know, she gave me a call, and we were doing, we were sitting all together doing yeah. this film. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So talk about it. It's a wonderful experience. Everybody had a great time coming together. Mm -hmm. you know. um, Paris Blues in Harlem was inspired by um, Samuel Hargris, who's the owner of Paris Blues um, that's in Harlem. He established the jazz club in 1969. So he has such a rich history. And because he's in the neighborhood and um, we're Harlemites, I yeah. would always stop by, check in on him. And the reason how we met is for, for my first film, I was going around the community asking for a donation and he donated. Uh -huh. And I said, oh, you know, this is um, such a neat jazz club. And, you know, I started to learn more about him. Mm -hmm. He's then from Alabama, New Rosa Parks. And I realized it was more than just a jazz club. It was a safe haven. It's a community place. Yeah, yeah. Politicians um, also um, fundraise there. People come and talk their problems. And I realized he was such a patriarch and is one of the last surviving right. um, old uh, establishment from mm -hmm. Harlem. And we were and talking about gentrification. Exactly. And, and talking to exactly. him, he said, you know what? I own this whole building. He, yes. he said gentrification was good to me. Yes, yes, <laughs> he yes. He said that the person that ran the place years mm -hmm. ago sold, sold it to him. Sold it to him and encouraged him to own it. Yeah. So I said, your story is not the common story of Harlem mm -hmm. because we know the shift that's happening mm -hmm. in Harlem. And it was, so I used Paris Booze in Harlem and I used it sort of like the tragedy of Lennox Lounge yeah. and mixed that. And wow. I said, you know, you're a rarity because you're a smart businessman. Mm -hmm. He owns not only the club, but the entire building. That's he right. actually yes. told me that he got it on credit. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. And, and he was, but he was so close. He used to yeah, work for that He guy. worked for the people yeah. that ran mm -hmm. it and owned it, and yeah. they wanted him to have it. And so they knew he couldn't afford it. Yeah. So yeah. they gave it to him on credit. Mm -hmm. He paid that, you know, it was like, okay, he didn't even have to put no money up front. Nope. Now he has a lounge and it has about, what, four or five floors, something like and, that? And he brought air, air rights. He brought air, air rights. So he air can space. build up. He can build up. Yeah. So it's worth more than $10 million. Oh, yeah. So he's yeah, sitting yeah. on a nice piece of legacy. And, and I know I, people coming up to him, hey, you know, just like <laughs> <in> the film. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. But that's yes. just so beautiful because they are coming and he's like. Yes. And that's, you know, it's loosely based. It's uh, loosely based because, as we know, in Harlem, many people lost their homes mm -hmm. or couldn't, aff you know, couldn't afford their homes or people mm -hmm. have to move out. So I wanted to tackle generational differences and how do we hold on to legacy yes. in the backdrop of, of the shift that's happening all over the country because mm -hmm. gentrification is just not happening in Harlem, but it's happening all over. All over the place. Yes. Now, you didn't get a chance to see it yet. We, no, we, I haven't seen it, it yet. I've sometimes been... you're in it, you're wrapped up in it, and you know you, you <laughs> have your parts, but it's magical when you see the whole oh, thing that's, come I'm, together. I'm sure they did a wonderful job. Yeah. You know? I, I know when they asked me to do it, I was kind of really busy, and then, uh, but eventually when I met them, I was, and then I met Samuel, yes. and I yeah. said, yeah. Mm, okay, I'll be a part of this. Yeah. And you, you acted in many films before. Yeah, I've been Tell around them. a long time. <laughs> Tell them what you've done. I'm, I'm just, you just said about your SAG card, you know, they give it to me free now. <laughs> I don't even pay for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just send it every year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and they want me to rap real quick. Did we put some pieces together? If we not, did. you got to come we back did. and we got to show did. this. And then we got to talk about Michelle, who's our producer, our yes. phenomenal producer and actress in the film. See, we have yes. a team. She yeah, played the real estate agent. We need she a whole played show my for granddaughter. You guys. <laughs> she played the real estate agent who was hated. 
the hungry, <laughs> as you said, the hungry oh. real estate agent. And, and they're wrapping me in my ear right now. Okay. Um, where can we go to see this or, or experience more about what, what we're doing? Well, it's doing the festival circuits. Mm -hmm. So, so far we've gotten into two festivals. So the next, we went, we just um, came back from Har um, Hampton, Hampton International Film Festival. Yeah. Where Hampton you were? Festival, University Festival. Where you were. Right. Now we're going to Roxbury International Film Festival in Boston. And, and waiting for the other. Are we other flying or driving? We haven't decided yet. <laughs> <laughs> is there a website? Um, there is a website, www.parisbluesinharlem.com. And we only going to show some little, we don't want to show the whole thing. You, you have the trailer. There you go. You have the trailer. <laughs> and Tanya Pinkins is in the film. Yes. Um, yes. She's known for her role in All My Children and Gotham and Scandal. See this guy going like this? I know. So you are? Nadej Pata. And I am Charles Weldon. I'm Michelle Baldwin. I'm the lead producer and actress playing Diane. She, Charles is associate producer and the lead role of Pop Pop. Give. And Nadej is our writer, director, executive producer, and she's playing the lead go. role. Give them all Paris. a big round of applause, yes, everybody. Ladies. You going to hit that for me? Can you read that part? Oh, I can't see. But unfortunately, that's all the time that we have for today. I'd like to thank you, guests, for joining us and you, you are, are the viewers for tuning in. For and if you missed any in. part of today's show, well, you can tune into the Recable Cast <laughs> at open at 5 p.m. or 10. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or you can watch anytime on the web at bronxnet.org. <laughs> or you can catch an all new episode see. Wednesday at 10 a.m. with our host, Darren Jaime. For all of us here at Bronxnet, have a great and enjoyable day. And always remember this what you are is God's gift to you, and what you make of yourself is your gift to God. So choose your choice. Let your choice control the chooser. And I'll see you on the radio, 107.5 WBLS tonight after the quiet storm. Love you all.